I'm trying to charge my phone, uh, so I do apologise. I am really out of breath, isn't that terrible? That's the most exercise I've done in years. But hello, everybody, welcome back. <laughs> um, we've got Mark. Do you want to take a breath? Do you want me to, you want me to take cover? Are you all right? You need to catch your breath a bit. That's all right. <laughs> Masterclass today is all about the vintage butterflies. We've got a fabulous collection um, for you over here. All sorts of different die stamps, paper pads, all sorts of things you could possibly imagine. I'm out of breath. I'm good. I just have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Let me let me take you through. God love it. Honestly, if you had seen behind the scenes just before Charlotte said, "I am going to put your mic live," our lovely Becky had to run from one end of the building to the other. Not because she was late to the party, but just because we're having a few technical issues. So God love her, she's just a little bit out of breath. So I'm gonna just take over for a minute. I mean, I can feel too, I was just talking alone. I mean, come on. Um, and we have got the most amazing masterclass for you today with, and I am gonna say it because it really, truly is one of my favorite collections we've ever done here at Crafters Companion in the whole history that I've known of Crafters Companion. It's the vintage butterflies. We've got, like I said to you, Becky will talk to me, she's caught a breath, she'll talk to you about all the things. <laughs> she will talk to you about all the things that we've got for all the people that haven't, um, haven't seen the vintage butterflies. I know that there are a lot of you there because that show that I launched was uber popular. I'm not kidding. They, they literally, pardon the pun, but they literally flew out of the building. Um, so I'm gonna take you through my mix that we're gonna be doing in this masterclass. And I'm gonna take you on, I wanna say a little bit of a journey, but using all of the products. So we're gonna start with um, beautiful embossing folder that's in this collection is just divine it is absolutely gorgeous so these are the makes that i'm showing you right now so it's not the design team uh, collection this is what we're going to be making in the show uh, using a little bit of gilding wax as well but that gorgeous uh, butterfly uh, beautiful 3d embossing folder we have got the most gorgeous stamps let's take this one up 
these gorgeous stamps that you can play with die cut and stamps and then you can have center pieces in Ooh. the center of your uh, pieces as well we're going to talk a little bit a little bit about home decor well why not have a little bit of an home decor piece i thought you know we can do we've got some nice nesting dies um, in our library but we can have a little play gorgeous butterfly one of my favorite butterflies we've ever done um, here at crafters um we've got a double sided die technology in this one as well with a little bit of an edge ball it uh, looks fabulous uh, one of me uh, i love this die set it's gorgeous becky it's like a postage stamp it is it's got that lovely postage trellis oh it's just absolutely divine and we're going to make a beautiful box with that one um, and again like i said this just stunning butterfly uh, that's got uh, it's one die that creates three different layers um, and we're going to have a little play with this now i honestly adore this collection this masterclass has been like a joy for me to work with i've done all sorts of this collection throughout it since it's launch so i'm really pleased that they, th they thought of me when it came to this <laughs> masterclass and that they thought i know a good masterclass for debbie we're going to give her the butterflies it is a beautiful collection and becky has now caught up with her breath and um she's going to take you through that collection for those of you who have missed out now is your opportunity to get hold of it today I, I do apologise about that. Very, very bad form. But yeah, you've got loads in this collection. Do remember as well, so if you weren't watching the earlier show, we did let you know that on the website we have a really good deal. Um, if you spend over £40 today, use the code SEPT5, SEPT5, and that will give you £5 off. And that runs right until midnight tonight. Um, so do take full advantage of that and do let your friends know. You know, if you've got a friend that's quite crafty, let them know, let them to watch, tell them to watch the show and then have a look on the website to see if there's items. And of course there'll be loads of items that you'd want to buy. Perhaps you want to buy this collection. So we'll show you exactly what you're going to be getting in here. So first of all, you've got these beautiful um, papers. So you've got your 12 by 12 paper pad. They are stunning. They're really, really beautiful. Lots and lots of different designs in here, but obviously all with that lovely butterfly motif in there. And um, some much larger, some very sort of subtle um, designs in here and some sort of more, um, more bold, I would say. You've also got a selection of um, pearl, uh, the Centura Pearl card in all those beautiful colours. So the kind of um, pinks, the greens, the pale lilacs, all those kind of very sort of feminine type colours. Um, you've got your vellums that are going to match in that way. That would look much better, wouldn't it? The vellums that are going to match in with those um, papers as well. Um, in there. They really are um, beautiful colours, beautiful designs. You've got your embossing folders. Um, so this is the one with the beautiful butterfly which you saw earlier on. You've also got lots of different embellishments. So this is um, some of that lace that you saw Debbie using on the earlier show. We were colouring that um, with some of our Spectrum One markers. You've got ribbons, you've got little gems, you've got little butterflies as well. Um, got loads of different things in here and um, you'll also be getting a selection of dies and stamps as well so there's so much in this collection it really is definitely worth getting you've got your opulence edge die here then you have your butterfly that's postage stamp one that you saw earlier on and um, then you've got this um, kaleidoscope of butterflies so that's what a collection of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope I spoke with butterflies. Yeah, I don't have much knowledge. It's just little bits. I'm not very useful, as anyone who's watched me on Play Crafts Fight will know. Um, <laughs> then you've, you've got your perfect papillon. Um, this is the um, multi. Um, there's the dies that you can cut. They're also multi different shapes um, for that butterfly. So really sort of build that up in those different layers. Then you've got your tags and um, tags and tickets. Um, here, all those different tags you can do. Then you've got your monarch butterfly here. That's your stamp and die set. And then this is really pretty. This little die here. Um, this is really quite a, a pretty intricate um, die. So you've got three different dies um, in here to create that little design. You'll also be getting your stamps. So this is your stamps for beautiful butterflies. Here are loads of different butterflies in all sorts of shapes and sizes. And then you'll be getting your sentiments as well. So this is a stonkingly good value collection. <laughs> You're getting so much in here. £95 or $120. Your platinum price is £76 or $96. Do remember you get £5 off that if you use that code SET5. Um, so it's a 50% saving, which is, is extra extraordinary given how much you're getting in here. And your demonstration, which one are you using for the demonstration? 
first going to use the opulent frame mm -hmm. and the perfect papillon. Oh, lovely. That's the three-piece one, isn't it, if I just remember rightly. The perfect papillon, I love that name. I just think it's just a beautiful name. I love butterflies. They give me so much joy being around the real uh, thing. But I absolutely adore this collection. The papers are exquisite. The vellums, mm -hmm. the cards, everything. I almost feel like, I mean, I know it's a, well, it is a Sarah Singer collection. Yeah. But I just think it's been all the vintage tones brought together, the colour mm -hmm. palette and everything about this collection. I mean, if you don't love butterflies, I mean, we could easily change your mind with this collection. I really do mean that because it's just absolutely beautiful. But it's just the fact of the matter with the Sarah, it is Sarah signature. So you know that you don't have to go running around to find a matching brand or mm -hmm. a matching ribbon or a matching paper uh, with the colour palette that you're going with because it's all there in that collection for you. And um, so I'm using some of, with the exception of one, which is my craft card. Um, again, if you haven't got any of these items that I'm using today on the show, there's lots of choices. Shop that uh, J button, go and press on that and have a little look. But also, if you're wanting to find other things that we've got in our collection, uh, like craft card, then by all means go and have a little pop on the website so you find all of those. Um, so I'm taking some of the double-sided, um, uh, sorry, single-sided, not double-sided, um, pieces that are in the beautiful, and if I remember rightly, did they call it the lux lux luxury card pad? It's a yep. luxury card, thank you, Ben. Um, so again, all you're going to do now, and this is lovely, this die set, because each one cut out individually. But what it means is that you can use them all individually, but you can bring them all together to give butterfly wings flight and to give them a real depth and dimension. And, and it doesn't mean to say that you have to put three. You could use one, you could use two, you could three, three, you could go four, five, six, seven, depending on how many layers you want mm -hmm. to put up. That's the joy of this one. This is the matte part, so the flat part, matte matte flat part um, this is the next excuse me this is the next one which is just um, a little bit more detail um, and then that's one with all the detail and like I said all of those will work independently by themselves as well so I'm just going to bring in my Gemini plates I'm going to go with my bigger plates Becky because I've got all of those pieces just onto there okay lots of people saying hello um, Connie good morning from New Jersey Thea hoi hoi everyone from Abu Netherlands and um, Barbara hello everyone from Indiana Urana says good morning Becky and Debbie from West Virginia and um, Carol good morning crafty friends from Tennessee I always hear that song when I here West Virginia. Um, uh, Kimberly says good morning from Virginia. Gilmore, hello from Michigan. Becky, Debbie, Susie, CC team, the so CC team and Crafty Peaks. Kathy, good morning from New Jersey. Lots of people messaging in. Um, Robbie says, I love all the different butterflies Crafters Companion make. They're all so different. Yeah. Um, and Linda says, I have this collection. I just love it. Butterflies, you love a butterfly, don't you? I love the real thing. In crafting, I've always yeah. loved it. My Auntie Jean, God rest her soul, used to tell me, a butterfly will cover up a multitude of things <laughs> just to buy the paper variety as well as the, the, the uh, like, almost like a sticker one. Yeah. Um, but I've loved butterflies for a long, long time. Yeah. I absolutely love them. Um, talked about this yesterday uh, with Joe. Um, I'm probably about the only one in the family that does because my kids hate them. Really? Uh, they hate the real thing. They hate butterflies, yeah. Whenever I used to take them to, do you know, butterfly oh, house, butterfly. they wouldn't go in with me. When we went to things like, do you know, like your animal places, yeah. they would never go into the butterfly house part of it. Um, I would. I'd stand there all day long and come on. Fly on me, you can fly on me. I think it's the thing they don't like is a bit like Michelle. Michelle doesn't like them. No. She'll tell you she, yeah. she feels like she's going into a fight with them. She's not really. Yeah. No, is it dragonflies? I thought it was butterflies. I, Have I got the wrong one? Oh. <laughs> Do you know, that's so funny. But uh, I love the real thing. Yeah. It, they're absolutely, they're graceful. Yeah, they're they are. They're so beautiful. And, and there's so many different butterflies out there mm. as well. Um, so I adore the real thing as well as the the non-real thing shall we say in mm -hmm. the form of a craft a crafting uh, so yes absolutely gorgeous so i'm just gonna get rid of all my waist bits and you can see the pieces that i've cut out now so i've got my mat and i've got my little decorative piece do you like butterflies becky i do i love butterflies yeah i, love, I love them I, i'm gonna sound like an old woman there aren't as many butterflies as, around as there used to be when i was young when I was a child, you see all sorts of different butterflies in the garden. You know you did, you're you right. I see very many. Yeah. But then I, I, lived, I lived more in the country. I lived in Slough when I was growing up. It's not really country. A bit of Buckinghamshire. Um, and then now I live in London, so I assume it's something to do with pollution. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, could, yeah um, could well be. I think they're beautiful. There's something really wonderful about seeing butterflies. Yeah. And I love those butterfly farms that you go into. Like you say, it's all really hot and humid. Yes. And they're, they're just all sort of 
floating around. I love the float. I love the floating element. I love the floating bit. I think, do that again, Becky. Do that again. Floating around. <laughs> you see, I always think if butterflies can speak, they're going to talk a little bit like this. <laughs> they're quite quiet. They sound a little bit like they're a Radio 4 presenter. Um, they're a little bit quiet, you know, a little bit you know, chilled. Um, you know, there's plodding around they're just relaxing I they think. are they're beautiful Alicia to look Michelle. at Michelle they are <laughs> they're beautiful to look at they're really oh my kids my girls are shockingly bad um and thankfully my gorgeous little granddaughter has not the same fear as her mum when it comes to a butterfly uh, so I've now got someone to take into the butterfly house with me as well uh, now I am just literally going to uh, do a little bit of a um <laughs> Are you all right over there, Becky? Yeah, I'm all right. Um, I'm going to start layering up my butterfly. So I'm going to take the flat piece and keep that flat. Uh, yeah. What I've just done is taken my bone folder and uh, I've just given the, the the wings a little bit of a shape. You can do it with your fingers if you want to do it with your fingers, but mm -hmm. um, or the end of a table if you want. But we've got bone folders, so yeah. you know if you want a bone folder, you could actually use your poker tool as well. You could go in with your poker tool and just curl the uh, edge. I just want to give it a little bit of flight. Um, so I'm just going to put a strip of glue down the centre. Uh, and I'm going to use it onto the middle part. But like you see, all three of those work gorgeous on mm. their own. Um, and I've chosen some the what, more, more muted colours, we'll call it. A more muted one. Uh, but there's nothing to stop you from literally judging. Is this the word? Yeah. Judge. Judge zhuzhing. it up with a bit of colour. Because you can go in and ink, re ink or anything like that, add a bit of colour with your, oh, maybe your classics. Absolutely, you could do. Uh, but you can see now, just by layering that mm -hmm. up, I've created a little bit of dimension, a little bit of flight. And I could, if I wanted, continue to add more layers onto that. But I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to push that to one side. Um, I've brought in the opulent frame. So I'm going to take just two of them, because we've got three different pieces here. Outside cut, so it's a solid frame that it cuts into. Yep. Um, and the same with this one and the smaller ones. It's perfect for all your sentiments that are in the stamp collection as mm -hmm. well. But I'm just going to cut this out in a little bit of craft card again. I'm going to try and keep this like, um, not grungy looking, but in keeping with the colours in the collection. Yeah. Um, yeah, because they've got those lovely vintage tones, the, the greens and the... The beiges and mm. the sort of know, sepia the, kind of tones. Yeah, the, the vintage, vintage vibe. Call it the vintage mm -hmm. vibe. Um, again, I'm just going to run that through my um, machine. Now, the ones that I've got here at the side of me, I've actually used some of our gilding flakes. Oh, yeah, we've got gild yeah, we've so got, got gilding flakes work really well with a butterfly. They, they really do. So you could do that onto your butterfly bodies, onto the wings mm -hmm. if you wanted to. I've used it on the frame. Now, um, I know it's a masterclass. But it is about the butterflies, not the gilding flakes, let's just say. Um, so I'm not going to well, say I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to show you the finished one, what I've done with that. But I want to show you these gorgeous frames. But we have got some gilding flakes, I believe, on Second Chance Sunday later, in the new Christmas colours. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love gilding flakes, full stop, regardless of all the colours that we've got in our uh, collection already. Uh, but we've brought in some gorgeous Christmassy colours, which are just beautiful, Becky. They are really lovely. And I can't wait. And I will I will play with those later mm -hmm. on tonight. Now, again, let me just pop that. Oh, look. Look, he's so clever, isn't he? He's put them all at bottom. It's so... Look at that. <laughs> Charlotte showing off again, eh? Huh? Showing off, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so, those gilding flakes... Um, the Christmas green and the gold just added on and I just used, you know, the glue, the wet glue that you can get in that little glue pack. Yep. Don't know, uh, then you might have to go and check if that glue pack's available. Uh, but it has the wet glue and I call it the wet glue, it's the liquid glue. And I just touched over the edges, let it go dry a little bit. So tacky, almost like instead of it being fluorescent go a little bit tacky and then I just applied some just onto the edges of the frame and I say on the edges I've got a little sparkle on the inside as well because you just quite help yourself with the gilding no. flakes so that's how I've changed up that one and including round this one as well so I've just and it's like a bit like we call it with inking yeah. tickled around the edges so yeah. just a little tickle with it around the edges rather than it all of course you could do all of it would we'll give it a real glamorous look mm. um, but just look really beautiful and that's the christmas green mixed with the gold to create okay. that lovely color um, so again i've got my lovely frames because that's going to be where my butterfly will be sitting and it's going to sit into the middle of said frames but got some craft card 
Uh, and I went with, and if I remember rightly, I'll just make sure because I think I did a, yeah, five by seven. Um, literally cut that down to 10 inches in my craft card by five, uh, sorry, by seven. Scored it down at five to give you that five by seven card. Very yep. popular style. I've taken some more uh, cards, like again, in keeping with the um, colourways. If you want to go a little bit further and not use the cardstock, think about your Centura, you know, your Centura Pearl colours. Mm -hmm. um, so you could use uh, this one's mint green because I thought it went lovely with the paper pad. Yep. And the paper pad is double sided, so it really is beautiful. And I've just taken a section from one of those beautiful papers. I know you'll probably go in more detail over them because I know you've got yours over there, Becky. Um, but I want to give it a little bit of a vintage feel. So I've got some um, of our green topaz water reactive ink pad. And I'm gonna go in and just tickle a little bit around the edges, just to give it a little bit of a, a uh, nice frame, yeah, we'll go with a nice frame feel uh, and really give it a good old vintage feel to this one. So again, I'm going to take that all the way around and it just, because the paper is for 12 by 12 and I've gone in with a little bit of a smaller piece, mm. I've taken away some of that vintage feel to it. Do you know how the, the whole sheet is? Yes. But you can gain that back just by adding that little bit of ink around the edges. And of course, one technique that I do love doing, I'm not going to apologise, i um, just going to tear it up a little bit. Literally, tear it up. Tear a little it up. Bit. Oh, tear it up a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, absolutely. And give it even a more of a vintage feel. And I'm going to use a pokey tool. So let me grab me, um, I'll call it my standard pokey tool rather than my bespokely made one. <laughs> Um, a bespokely tool. <laughs> What's your bespokely tool? Uh, my bespokely tool is my bes Have you never seen my bespokely I've tool? I've never seen your bespoke. Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, it's my, it's my purple one that I had um, someone made for me um, very kindly um, with a matching pen, but my matching pen's had legs and walked. Don't oh. know where it's gone. Hmm. So that's upset me a little bit, but uh, I've got my poker tool um, and I'm just literally now, I'm just tearing around the edges. Of course, we've got a distress. Wait a minute. Crimper? Yep. Discress. Dis oh, dear me. <laughs> Distressed. Crimper. <laughs> tool. Distressed tool. <laughs> Thank you. Crimper tool. Is that what it's called, Ben? I don't think it's called that, you know. I think it's called the distressed tool, is it? Oh, is it? Thank you. Thank you very much. You could, of course, take that tool. Um, and I did have mine handy, but I think it might have fallen out of my craft bag. Oh, typical. Oh, just typical. Um, I'll have to rough it up with my edges, with my scissors. Give it a little more of a distress. But you would take your little tool and just go around there and give it a little bit of a... And I'm not going to go OTT with this, but I just wanted to vintage it up a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, give it a bit more texture. Yeah, a little bit of texture. Um, and I know it's not for everybody. I know it's not. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, but I do love to do this just to give it a little bit more... Um, yeah, texture. Yeah. Interest. Yeah interest i think that's the one i'm going to go with now i'm going to pop this down at the background that's going to sit just in between there as well mm -hmm. you could be having things like your tags underneath so you could have a little butterfly or a tag poking out from underneath oh, to, yeah, good again idea. add a bit more texture yep. create a little bit more drama um i'm going to add some brads in here as well but i'm going to stick it down first with a bit of glue so before um, before we came on air, before I had to run around the studio and then you know, nearly expired from the exercise, which I just don't do, we were talking about music that you craft by. We were. Um, so um, we'd like you to message in and let us know what you what you do listen to, what do you watch maybe while you're crafting? Because Debbie and I have decided, discovered we've got we've got a love for the same kind of music. <laughs> We like a bit of the prodigy. Um, but she, looking at us, she wouldn't think we would. But um, yeah, we quite like things like that. And um, so do message in and let us know what you like to listen to. Do you, do you listen to a podcast? Do you, do you like to listen to no, just the TV going? Or do you have a, a playlist for your crafting? Please let us know. Absolutely, let us know. Uh, now, I'm just going to add a little bit more interest as well. Even though I've stuck my card panel down, mm -hmm. um, I'm using some of the beautiful brads that are in this collection. And they're beautiful, Becky, because they've got little butterfly details inside each one of the brad. So I'm just, I've literally made it life easier for myself using my poke tool to push the brad through. And then I'm going to split the little legs at the back, just there, just to, it's called, it's called a split, split, say it again, split pin. Thank you. Thank you, yes. 
nearly got myself into a bit of trouble then. Uh, but just again, it just adds a little bit of texture. Mm -hmm. Now, they're perfect, um, our brads, for uh, things like vellum. Mm -hmm. you, know, you want, don't want to like put any glue onto a vellum because it can seep through and create a bit of a a bit of a mess really you could use the brads for it as well i'm just trying to find my end just bear with me a second the eyes aren't what they used to be they Becky. are very cute they um, are lovely Mel marlene says i plant butterfly loving flowers in my garden i have them flying around all the time it's a beautiful sight oh i like that idea and gilmore says there was a big one the size of that butterfly debbie just cut out and our it asked and our neighbor's flowers the other day i kept my distance <laughs> <laughs> actually it is quite a big um, butterfly that you've got there isn't it? It is a big butterfly yes it's quite a statement piece it really is um, so I've got my brads attached in there I'm going to pop on my piece now I can have a, again I could create a little bit more texture and I am going to do with this one I'm going to twist it a little bit I could keep it nice and neat but I want to show those brads off so I'm going to twist it slightly um, and I'm just going to add a little bit of texture to the back there um, and again I'm just going to use some of our all-purpose glue the best glue in the world as Leanne would say <laughs> it gives me the wiggle time to get it into place um, and position it how I want to position it. I don't want to interfere with the bottom yep. because if I interfere with the bottom bit, it won't stand, so it won't yep. stand straight. So I'm just going to make sure it's just a little bit flush to there. But just by giving it that little bit of a twist, it gives it a little bit more added uh, dimension. Now, if we're making an envelope, because obviously this is five by seven, I'd have to go up half an inch just to make way for the, the two little ends that are yep. poking out at the side and the little bit at the top. Uh, so just remember that if you are making your own envelopes, um, and then I'm going to pop on now my panels. I'm going to add a bit more, again, a bit more texture. We'll add it on with a little bit of a foam pad. Um, so we'll stick some foam pads onto the back, like, oh, wait, where are you now? Come on, come on. There we go. Get them off the back. Let's pop a few of those just to lift that off. And then my butterfly, I could either stick it into the centre, but again, I'm going to add that frame, that double frame. Mm. And we're going to pop um, this onto the center part of the card. So let's just go in and I'm just going to try and line that up because I've got a little bit of a jointy angle with that bit, but that looks okay. I could have that on a jointy angle as well if I wanted yeah. to, uh, but I'm not. I'm going to keep it as it is. Um, and then again, I like that gilding on the um, craft card. Looks gilding really on craft, yeah, the gilding mm. flakes on craft ca card looks absolutely beautiful. Um, gilding flakes just really do embellish um, your projects. Um, and add a little, that touch of, and I'm going to say it is a touch of glamour, it really is. Um, and then I'm going to just pop my butterfly on, and again, I'm going to have it going the opposite end to this part. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go this way instead. Um, and I think I'll touch it, let's have a look, where's my, um, yeah, I'll use my tape pen. Because I'm just going to have that little bit just on both those wings and keep it fairly flat. And again, just pop that and position it into place. And I want some of this to show through, so I'm just going to position it a little bit better. And then I've got myself one of the sentiments. So from the stamp set, there's a beautiful set of stamps in there. This one is in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Yeah, I like and that. And it is a really lovely sentiment, that. It really is. I think it sums up a lot of things these days, um, especially with the way the world is, with um, social media and all those kind of things. Uh, but it is sometimes just that little bit nice. Now then, before I stick it down, am I happy with it there or do I want it up at the top? I'm just going to have a little look. Let's go in. Let me just, before I actually stick it down, I want to make sure that I'm happy with where I've placed it. And I think I'm going to go with where I initially thought, up at the top. Let's just make sure you can see it. There we go. That's beautiful. I love that. There we go. And apart from maybe adding a gem or two, quite happy with the first one. Uh, and there you go. Uh, a beautiful piece there that you can use. Um, slightly different to where I was initially, initially going because the initial one I was going to keep it nice and flat. However, uh, there's lots of ways that you can use this and I just like to add that little bit of dimension to the card. But again, just beautiful. And that butterfly is absolutely one of my favourite butterflies we've ever done at Crafters Companion. I absolutely adore it. Um, but yeah, in a world where you can be anything, Becky, be kind. Oh, I think that's absolutely true. Gorgeous, absolutely lovely. Now this is cut from the vintage butterfly selection um, that we've got here. So if I show you, this is the full collection. We do have it in smaller bundles and we'll go through that in a moment. But if you do want the whole lot, this show this it gives you your best um, 
uh, discount. So it's actually 50, 52% you're saving you've got here. So you've got your 12 by 12 double-sided paper pads. So I'll just flick through a few of these, or try to anyway. Um, difficult to hold here. Um, but you can see um, all of those different designs there. So as with all of our um, paper pads, you'll find that you have one side that is quite sort of um, vivid, and the other side is you know, sort of more muted tones and patterns in there, but beautiful papers that you're getting in there. You'll be getting your um, Centura Pearl cardstock in the pinks, the greens, purples and in that beautiful cream colour as well. You'll be getting your vellums, so tend to be using the same patterns that you've got in those paper pads, um, but these are um, your vellum pieces in here. Just there. We've just got some white card, uh, white paper behind them. You can see if I put my hand out how they're all vellums. Then you've got your selection of um, your ribbons, those brads, which I've now looked really closely, they've got these little tiny butterflies right in the very centre. 40 of those in the collection. Shana's coming in. What to bring? Oh, is she? OK. <laughs> and then we've, then we've got, can you see them? Can you see them there? They're really tiny little butterflies, really beautiful in there. Then we've got your butterfly charms. Um, you're going to get 10 of those. You're going to get um, your length of butterfly um, sort of lace here cotton lace that feels to me not nylon lace so you can colour that in and then you've got your embossing folder as well um, that's just the first part then you'll be getting a um, selection of dies and stamps so you have this one here this is your opulent edge stamp this is the, st the die that we just used um, just a moment ago then we've got this um, monarch butterfly die and stamp set we have this one which is your tags and tickets then we have this one, which is your perfect papillon, um, which is the one that Adobe's just used. Then you've got this one here, which is the kind of postage stamp thing we were talking about. That's a, a die set with that butterfly and the trellis work in there. And then you've got the kaleidoscope um, die here too. And then finally, you've got your stamp collection. So you've got um, this one here, which is your uh, useful butterflies, all those different butterfly shapes and um, for use of stamp and colour. And then finally, you've got all your sentiments there. So this complete collection is £95, $120. That's a 52% saving. Um, do use your code in there. If you're spending more than £40, you use the code SEPT5, SEPT5, and you'll get £5 off. But we do have it in slightly smaller bundles if you want to have a look at those. Um, so the first one that we've got is your stamp and die embossing folder. So that is, um, you've got in here, you've got your um, opulent frame die, you've got your Mar marvellous mariposa, you've got your opulent edge, these are all your dies, your perfect papillon, your um, monarch butterflies, you've got your critic stamps with your beautiful butterflies, um, you've got your kaleidoscope die, your tags and tickets, um, you've also got your embossing folder and the butterfly kisses acrylic stamp in that one. And that's 56, sorry. <laughs> That's £56 or $68, and that's your platinum price. Your next one is your um, vintage butterfly papers and luxury card and vellum collection. So you've got your 12 by 12 paper pad, your um, A4 card, um, pearlescent card pad. You've got your 8 by 8 um, vellum pad in there as well. Um, so that is £23 or $30. Platinum price is £18.40 or $24. And then you've got your embellishment collection. So this is your um, brads. So you've got 40 bags brads in there with those little butterflies you've got your elegant lace your butterfly charms in 10, 10 pieces of those butterfly charms and you've got that ribbon as well so the price of that is 12 pounds 16 dollars platinum pro, platinum price is nine pounds 60 or 12 dollars 80 um lots of people messaging in gail says hi i like to watch crafters tv when i craft that's the answer we wanted everyone to hear. <laughs> it isn't really. Just tell us truthfully what you like to listen to. Um, Kimberly says beautiful. And um, Connie says lovely car, Debbie. That is something that's, that schmelting is floating. Schmettling. Is that Schmettling. butterfly in German? That's German for butterfly. Uh, Have you never heard Joe? Schmettling. Schmettling. No, I didn't when I say butterfly, it calls it Schmettling. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's German that. for butterfly. Oh. That's yeah. quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Yeah, See, I, nice the, only, the only bit of German I remember is what a rubber plant is. What's that? A gummy balm. Ah. Mm. The only thing I know in Germany is Spack in die Deutsch. And no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak any. I can't, but that's the one that I remember. I just, I just remember that from school for some reason. How strange is that? Yeah. That I remember that one. Um, are you ready for another demo? Absolutely. We'll try yeah. and get a lot in this. I've got six plans. Six. Six. Can you believe this? Six. 
Get a wiggle on Ben, have you heard him? He's getting right rough, rough for me today. He's on my ear, get a wiggle on. I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. Uh, it's been lovely having him in my uh, in my head rather than over the other side of the studio. Uh, now I'm going to use the embossing folder and I love this, this technique. And I'm going to use some gilding wax. I believe we've got, if I remember rightly, is this correct, Ben? Have we got some gilding wax on the show? We have. Perfect. Perfect, because I am using some of our gilding wax, our Pebio gilding wax, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, but, and I'm going to use as well the lovely opulent edge, which is a nice little edge die, but I'm going to use it as a little trim around the edge Ooh. of my um, embossing, well, adding to, again, adding a bit of texture, adding yep. a bit of layers. Uh, now, I've taken a piece of, um, now, this is my water reactive ink. You know, I love making backgrounds. I talk about it all the time. I love making backgrounds. Um, and all I've done with this is done a little bit of a... Um, a mishmash of uh, pale fig with a little bit of baby blue and oasis in there to give mm -hmm. it a little bit of a texture and then splattered it with water to give me this lovely faux bleaching technique you can go back and see lots of demonstrations of how to do this it's quite easy to do um, and there's no um it's it's a lovely simple technique that mm -hmm. creates something really quite stunning and i am going to actually emboss into that even though i've got that lovely texture um, i'm going to add more texture to the texture by popping it in the 3d embossing folder now 3d embossing folder is a thicker it's a made of a thicker plastic because there's a little bit more extra dimension and sculpture to your 3d uh, projects rather than a standard one mm -hmm. um, so whenever you're feeling for it you want to feel where the raised element is this is the sunken in bit so that's the bit that's going to uh, be pushed the cardstock into so i know that i'm going to put my um and what i'm meaning this why i want you to use the raised edge i want that to be the raised part the embossed part so to make sure i get that i need to make sure that the raised element of the folder lies that way onto cardstock that's textured or patterned mm -hmm. or you could do this with your vellum or just to make sure that it pushes through the fibers of that cardstock to give me the raised element okay um, i've actually trimmed it down a little bit smaller than the piece that um this is a five by seven uh, platform i don't know if you can uh, platform folder am i talking platform it's a folder <laughs> we know um, and just mean. pop that in there now with a um, regular folder it would be normally your two clear cutting plates but this is a 3d folder so we're going to bring in our 3d folder combination which is the magnetic shim onto the top of the cardstock and folder then the plastic shim and then run that through your gemini okay and that's your combination for a 3d folder just so you're aware of that and then i'm going to enhance it and embellish it with a little bit of gilding wax what are the colours that we've got on the show today, Becky? Um, oh, you're asking me now. I'm going to have to have a little... Oh, oh hold on. I'm I there. You? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, should we let our... Renaissance gold. Yep. Empire gold. And antique gold. And... Oh, thank goodness for that, because guess what? Um, I'm using king <laughs> gold. <laughs> that were close. Um, but do you know what? They're all gorgeous, these. Now, at the moment, I mean, I can see it. My naked eye... I can see that. You can see a little bit of the outline here, Becky, and you can see that quite clearly. But I'm going to enhance it, enhance it by using uh, some gilding wax. Now, gilding, Pebio gilding wax is an amazing oil-based uh, wax, super soft, it's like a almost mousse-like, um, and it really is beautiful and glides over um, not only your embossed features, and we normally do this on black cardstock to make it pop, but I wanted to show you how you can create a little bit of an extra dimension with your coloured pieces as well. But it was initially brought, uh, well, initially made, you know, with the idea of having um, your furniture. Yes. Gilding yep. your furniture. So literally, just pop a little bit down onto there and I'm going to go in. I want it to be quiet this time. Normally I go in light and build up, but I want, because it's a pale background, I want it to stand out. So I'm being a little bit more heavier handed than I would normally be with gilding wax, which might surprise you to know because I, I'm always talking about building it up in layers. And I'm going in full, I'm, going, I'm doing a Leanne. <laughs> Leanne likes to get... Um, she likes to, she does, she likes to lay a lot down straight away. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that and show you a different way and not the light texture. But now what you can see is the gilding wax is picking up all that beautiful embossed detail. Yeah. Do you know if you don't like getting inky, messy fingers? Yeah. You can use our applicators. 
So do you know our lovely rounded applicators and um, the controversial square ones, because they're not really square, they're rectangle. Yeah. The rectangular squares, that's the one, Ben, that's the one. Um, you could use those as well. So what you would do is pick it up. So pop it down onto your mat like you would do still, mm -hmm. um, and then pick it up with your, your gilding. Um, yeah, you get... Yeah. Applicators. Gilding wax. That's the word I was yep. looking for. Gilding wax. What am I like, honestly? Uh, and again, I'm just going to go a little bit over that edge because I want this lovely trellis part to be part of that as well. Right, going in. And then, again, just over those last little pieces. You can mix your colours as well. So I know you said you've got the other colours on there. So you said there was antique. That would look quite nice to mix a couple of the colours. Um, I can't find... We've only got a couple in studio. Don't know what happened to them all, but we did have a full set. Did you say Empire was on there? That's fine. I use a bit of Empire. Can you see the difference? Yes. Can you see the colour? Yeah. And the antique is even... Oh, antique is one of my favourites. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a lovely antique finish, which would look lovely in the terms of vintage. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just going to add a little extra bit of colour. I'm going to go in and really pick those out. Now, I'm going to do so a little well bit... with the, that background that you've created, that gold. It looks the, lovely, doesn't it? It's really nice. Yeah, it just gives it another vintage feel again. Um, very underrated are Pebio Gilding Waxes. And I don't know why, because they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to go too much, though. I would, probably would have added more. If I'd have got my antique, I would have, I would have used it. But I can't find it anywhere, so uh, that's going out of the window for the time being. Uh, right, I'm going to get a little piece of tissue. Barbara gonna... Scatterly's asked, could you use metallic wax? Yes. Yep. Yeah. You can use any wax you want. Yep. There's lots of coloured waxes out there. Um, our friends at Creative Expressions have a full range of um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, waxes. Their waxes are water-based, though. Right. Some, some of their are water-based ones. Um, but I'm just giving it a little buff around the edges. And it just literally, it not only lifts off the excess, as you can see, but it just gives it that extra little bit of uh, shine with that gilding wax and it is uh, honestly it's well worth doing this little bit just to get that extra shine and again if i lift that up now you can see if i just tilt it can you see the angle of that lovely wax it just looks amazing i really do love that uh, and again it just it just enhances that beautiful embossing mm. folder and you can see how well that gilding wax um, is when it's applied onto, yeah. even Gorgeous. into things like a, an inky background that I've just made. Now I'm just going to wipe up my excess. Um, Renee says, wipe. could you show us what the applicator looks like? One of the um, the blenders. Yes, of course I can. Yeah, um, just, just give me a second and I'll yep. just grab and grab one Fabulous. for you. Um, Sval said, hi Becky and Debbie, the butterfly is my favourite kit. I don't get much time to listen to much music watching a minimum of six hours of Crafters TV every day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you off. Um, Jill says, hi, um, I'm often watching a listing to CTV or TV when I'm crafting. Sometimes what I see inspires me to do something that would appear unrelated. Um, Sarah Brown says, hi Debbie and Becky and producer Ben and Crafters Social and the gang in the gallery sending hugs your way from Melbourne, Australia. Aww. Hello. Um, I found, I found if I watch a crafting show while I'm crafting, I suddenly stop, push all my crafting stuff to one side <laughs> and then get something else out. So it's not really conducive to helping me craft. <laughs> now, for the lovely lady who asked about the applicators, these are the applicators. As I've got ink on, um, but this is the round one and then this is the uh, square rectangle one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ain't it crazy when we call it a square, but it's not a square. But all you would do is the same way you would pick it up with your applicator and then go over the top. Um, and it, it creates the same, but you're not getting as messy. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the only difference. Of course, you've still got to put a little bit back on there, but if you don't like touching it at all, use gloves or just scoop a little bit off, off your tissue, pop it onto there, pick it up with the applicator and go on over, over the top. Uh, and you'll be able to do that with both of those. Now, Thank I'm quite you. happy with that. And I have actually got a little bit of that beautiful double-sided pearlescent cardstock that's going to mat, sit as a mat behind the back of that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pop on a little bit of um, tape pen around the whole of that. And then I'm going to use a little bit more of the same colour in terms of that beautiful paper. I keep calling it paper. It's not paper at all, Becky. It's gorgeous cardstock. I just want to make sure I've got that lined up right before I uh, commit to sticking down. Looks about right. Yeah. Go with that one. There we go. Um, so I'm using another sheet of this. I'm going to bring in this opulent edge. So probably could chop that down, actually. But um, 
I'll just, I'll do that afterwards. I'll, I'll die cut it through first. So again, I'm going to just pop on some low tack tape. I'm, I'm lifting it up a little bit because I want a little bit of a trim because it's going to sit behind the back. Okay. It's going to act as a little sit at the back there. So again, I'm just going to run that through my Gemini. Probably could get that through there. Yep, perfect on my smaller plates. Uh, thin metal die, normal combination with a thin metal die and run that through your machine. Um, this is a lovely, honestly, this is a gorgeous die, this opulent edge. You can use it in so many ways. You can frame it around the outside of your card, have it as an edgeable on the top of your card. Um, me, I'm just using it as a decorative piece just for this particular uh, demo. But again, if I take that off, I'm going to just line that up. Yep, I'm going to just take my scissors and just release it. And that's on both sides. Just tip, turn that over and then bring that out. And it's going to sit around the back. Now, I'll trim it down in a minute, but what I want to do is just position it into place uh, to add that onto uh, there. In fact, actually, I've got one that I've already trimmed down, Becky, because uh, I'm so organised, she says. But I'm just <laughs> going to trim off the little edges here once I've stuck that down. So, actually, do you know what? I could have it at the top and I could have it at the bottom. Oh, nice. Yeah, that'd look nice. Oh, that gives it a real nice regal yeah. look. Oh, it's uh, like looking into a magic mirror, isn't it? Yeah. You see, I could uh, I could change that up actually. Wonder if I've got enough space on my card. I'll have a little look in a minute, but I'm just going to add that on. And almost looks like it's belonged to there now. So, yeah. and if, again, if I just trim down that edge, I know I'll probably take a little bit of the design off, but I'll um, I'm not going to worry too much. Let's turn it up there. And just blend that in. And the same. Let's go down this side. A bit easier on this one. There we go. And then just, I might just trim off that little end. Let's just pull that around there for a second. It's a very pretty dye, isn't it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I'm going to have to decide on that bottom piece because what I've done is I've got myself some more... Again, I've used the card base. I know it seems a little bit... Um, um, ex uh, extravagant, mm -hmm. extravagant, but it's gorgeous, this pearlescent. Look at that shine, and I thought, oh, it's going to look like a lovely card base, that. Um, and again, um, what I would do is I would trim out that middle bit so that you've got no waste, so that yeah. I've got some more. But I'm OK. I'll be fine. I'll, uh, I'll just pop it on. Let's get that onto the card base. Again, just bats and layers, these. And I, every time I do this, and this measures in, if I remember rightly, I did a, a six by um, seven and a half. That's a lovely thing about our card making. You can make whatever size card you want. It doesn't have to be the standard size. You can make it fit to your project. Um, I've got my card, I've got my paper from my paper pad again. Choices, choices, which one do I use? I think I'm going to stick with the butterfly uh, in the background there. Just going to give it a little tickle around the edges though with a little bit of uh, ink and I'm going in with this time crushed velvet of our water reactives. And I'm just going to go in again just to give it a little bit of an age look. Brings it in line with the beautiful um, colours that I've, I've chosen as well. And it, again, it just, it just adds that little bit of extra dimension. And then pop that all the way around. There we go. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? Beautiful. The crushed velvet's gorgeous. The ball pit, everything about this is... Oh, I'm going to make Becky, 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 Becky. Get a bit carried away. Bit of housekeeping. Don't want that going all over my card and ruining it. So I'll just clean up that little bit. Uh, I'm not going to rough the edges up of this one. I'm going to keep it nice and flat and nice and smooth. But of course, you can do if you want to. So let's go in a little bit more. There we are. And then place that as the matte and layer. Every time I do a matte and layer as well, the way I do a matte and layer is pretty similar to what our Craig does. We, we take off a quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. I know you can make bigger frames, so you could go in an inch if you wanted to add a little bit of a bigger frame. Sometimes do that as well. I think it depends on my mould sometimes, yeah. to be fair. And then I'm going to add that piece on. Now, because that is over and I've made it a little bit... Uh, if I'd have put that on, it would overhang at the bottom. So I'm going to leave it off uh, for this. I'm just going to have it over the top like so uh, i'm going to add a little bit of the twine though oh actually do you know what i'm not no i'm not change your mind um have you got any foam on a roll becky <gasps> any what foam on a roll what's it called foam on a roll <laughs> i can hear him can you hear him foam, foam, on, a roll. foam on a roll foam on a roll hey i can hear you ben nobody could hear you <laughs> there was only me and becky and charlotte that could hear you yeah you have to sing a bit louder so we can hear you <laughs> I just wanted some foam, that's all. I just wanted to hear it, that's all, Ben. Oh, God. Oh, God, you can really hear him now. 
Let anybody hear him? Sure and, uh, I'm, hear that. Uh, let me know if you heard that Charlotte did. God love Charlotte. She's in the room with him. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> oh dear, Charlotte, you poor little thing. Your poor ears. Um, I mean, he's a beautiful singer. He is normally a beautiful singer, but um, that, was, that quite, was rather that was like a scream, loud. wasn't it? You what, darling? That was like a scream. It was like a, <laughs> a little bit of scream all. Um, now then, what have I done with my little tag? I've lost a little tag, Becky. Just give me a second, because I have got it. <gasps> Why does this happen to us in this room? Um, do you know the tickets? Oh, nice. Oh, my God, I love these tickets. Um, that's a thank you so much sentiment from the sentiments that are, in, that are coming in the bundle. But this is from the ticket design. If I just show you, I'll just see if I can grab mine that are down here. Uh, because this is absolutely, I mean, this, this, I think you will use that collection outside of the Vintage Butterfly. The tags and the tickets, real like bus tickets in the olden days. Yeah. Absolutely love them. But I took mine from, uh, if I remember rightly, it's that one there. That's the one, oh, sorry, that one there. Uh, but yeah, you can have a little play around with them. There's a lovely set on there. And again, I'm just going to add that into the corner. Shall we go? We'll go proper on full left. And again, I've just used, I've stamped it in actually a quick dry uh, pur purple, which is the crushed velvet. Sorry yeah. there, just trying to remember the name of that. Completely escaped me. Um, and then I'm not going to add much more to it, to be fair. I was thinking about a little bow in the corner, but I think that might be a bit too extravagant. So let me just have a quick peek. Let's have a little look before I actually add it. Those little tags, I was saying, I, I need um, some tags for Friday's show, um, for softer side little sneaky um, hint about what we might be doing in there um, um so I, I need to i need to be able to use those today so cut out a few tags because so i think tags are, tag dies are so useful they are they? indeed absolutely they are and this one's a lovely set there we go i'm quite happy with that so i'm going to stop i'm going to stop again just you stay away that. from anything else debbie because sometimes let that do the talking and again it really is a beautiful collection that was a little bit of an inky background with an embossing folder and a little bit of gilding wax using that lovely frame on the top um so much you can do with it we're going to try i mean i can't believe i've got two full demos done in 50 minutes well done that's amazing <laughs> i've still got another four to do in the next one hour ten <laughs> let's see how that one goes it'll be speed crafting later on so this is all from the vintage butterfly selection that we've got here so this is the big bundle um, which you can see just here where you've got the dies you've got um, stamps you've got paper you've got embellishments um, you've got vellum you've got loads and loads of things in here you've also got your pearlescent card in there as well um, so 95 pounds or 120 dollars platinum price 76 pounds or 96 dollars but we do have um, our 3d foam selection in there as well um, so you'll be getting um, your different sort of size foam pads but you'll also be getting the other foam item that's in a circular kind of packaging um, which I don't have because it's always so popular it's on the other side of the studio um, but that, that this is a great value item £4.62 $11.87 £3.70 or £9.50 is your platinum price these are your bread and butter when it comes to crafting these are things that you're going to use all the time and it's the last thing any of us want to be running out of our foam pads so definitely worth popping in your basket today do you remember if you spend over £40 today up until midnight and you put in the code SEPT5 that's SEPT5 you'll get £5 off we also have our weekend super saver, um, which is this collection of um, paper pads. Um, so basically, you buy two and you get one for free. Um, so you've got your country lane here. So if I just flick through, you can see all of those beautiful papers you've got there. So as I say, we always have double-sided papers in these collections. One side will be sort of larger and more vibrant patterns. The other one will be slightly more muted um, on the back, but they will go perfectly with each other. So really, really beautiful designs in that 12 by 12 paper pad then you have the knitwit home body collection which has got some really beautiful kind of candy pinks larger designs in there lots of blues and creams and some other sort of very pretty and um, designs those kind of pinstripe ones and i think this one's got some um like little polka dots in there as well 
Um, so lots of different designs in there. Um, that's again a 12 by 12 pad. And then finally you get this one here, which is um, actually cardstock in all of those primary colours. So you've got black, white, pinks, greens, yellows, oranges. Um, 12, they're basically getting this for free. So this is 12, um, 12 by 12 as well. So the price for this is £31.98. That's $36.90. Or your platinum price is £25.58 and £29.52. So take this advantage of this opportunity rather and um, to check out your baskets and we'll see you in a couple of moments. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint, offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Many of our viewers bring up time and time again, and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking Joe, it might not work as well because I put too much. <laughs> Joe's, Joe's laughing. Oh, I've forgotten to put me um me thing in place. <laughs> oh, Joe, don't... words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it is because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Well, yeah, uh, eat shortbread and eat the, qu uh, eat the queen. Eat <laughs> Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. Right. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. Went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some. <gasps> oh, it's not on your project, is it? Yeah. Oh no. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying watching those little videos. We find I find them quite fascinating. Seeing, I you know everyone makes mistakes, but that one with the, the um, wax still makes me giggle to myself. <laughs>
Um, we do have some uh, other sort of um, cardstock in the show for you. Um, so the one I'm going to show you at the moment is a really good collection that you can get here. So you're actually saving 25% in this um, bundle. So you've got your um, luxury mixed cardstock in all of these different gold colours. If I flick through, you can see they are absolutely stonkingly good. Beautiful, beautiful colours, really sort of rich golds, and you're going to be getting that glitter card in there. I do love a bit of glitter card. Really, really stunning. So that is your gold. Then we've got your um, rose gold collection here. Again, you've got that beautiful pearlescent cardstock um, here, all 12 by 12, and then you've got your glitter one here. Um, is really, really beautiful. Hopefully you can see that at home. And then finally, you've got your sparkling silver. Again, pearlescent at the back. And then we go on to the glitter here. So really beautiful colours. Great for, you know, the festive season's coming up. No, people are going to be needing lots of glittery and um, sparkly cardstock. And um, so the price of this is £44.50 or £51.50. Platinum price is £36.60, $41.20. So actually 25% off. So you're getting, uh, each one of these has got 24 pieces in there. So definitely worth popping in your basket if you're thinking about Christmas. Let's be honest, we all are. Um, the other thing to have a look at is the magazine, which has got loads of um, Christmassy ideas in there. And um, you're going to see more of this on Second Chance Sunday. Um, but we've got loads and loads of um, different designs, different things in here, um, just for the price of um, $12.99 or $19.95. So if I show you what we've got inside, um, we've got the um, little booklet, little um, actual magazine here. Um, so you can flick through and you can see all these different projects. I think 71 projects you've got in there. So you've got loads of different um, ideas that you could be making. Where, where's you? Oh, I've lost you. Sorry. You are? <laughs> well, well, let's see. Well, yeah. Oh, you've got a fit. No, no, we're not going to. No. Where? 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 <laughs> There he is. Yay. There's some back, uh, behind the scenes bits and pieces in there um, about sort of us there. <laughs> oh my God, the excitement. Um, there's, there's other um, sort of projects you can do in here, including some soft craft um, projects in there as well. So that is your magazine, but you'll also be getting um, other bits and pieces in here. So I haven't opened these all up, but you've got your um, sentiment stamps um, here. Um, so Christmas sentiment stamps. Then you've got a Christmas stencil. Shall I open these all up? Why not? I need I need to show you show you what you're gonna be getting. So you've got and I love the way this is all packaged. Oh look at that. Uh, Merry Christmas and all your numbers for your advent stencil. Um, then we have your border die. You've got loads of things in here. So this is your snowflake board. Ooh, ooh! That's stunning, isn't it? Shall I show you this for this is a really good price with all these bits and pieces in here. Um, what's in this one? Um, this is your treat box template. So this is the um, template that um, David was talking about to make a little box. Open this up. Ooh, a little bit. Oh, ooh, look at that. That's lovely with your little snowman. Um, which we'll be having a look at that, that a little bit later on. And then you'll also be getting um, 18 sheets of paper and your die cut topper sheets. Um, in here as well. So these are really lovely. This is a great item to get. Um, if you're going to be crafting, you know, you've got your grandchildren or your children around, you want something, you don't want them to be using all your super expensive craft stuff, you can buy them one of these each. And um, they've got everything contained in there and they can make some really beautiful um, items. You've got all those papers and then this die cut um, toppers here as well. Um, you get a download code for the magazine so you can download more papers and print them off if that's what you want to do. So the price of this is $12.99, $19.95. Your platinum price would be £10.39 or $15.96. bit more of that a little bit later. But we're going to go back to some more vintage butterflies with you, aren't we, Debbie? Yay! Oh, I love this collection. Full stop. Do you know what I'd love love and what we never mentioned at the top of the show? I'd yeah. love to see what other people have done with this collection, those yes. who've got it. Yeah, Why not idea. send in your mix to our lovely Charlotte, who's going to love me now in the last hour of the show. Um, but why don't you send your mix in too? And I, I know Charlotte will put the information at the bottom. Studios at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Send your pictures in of what you've already made with this collection for those of you who've got it. Those of you who haven't got it, 
Let me know what you're getting hold of today. Is there something that's tickled your fancy? Are you new to Crafters TV? Let us know. Share with us whether you're a new viewer, whether it's something if you're new into crafting, whether yep. you've never had this collection and you, you might be tempted to buy into it as well, or is there certain elements of it that you really do love? I love all of it. I'm not going to lie, Becky. And I'm going to use one of my personal favourites, which is the marvellous Mariposa uh, die set. And okay. it is absolutely gorgeous because this is a big die set. If I just show you, look how big this die is. It's, it's quite a big one. And it comes in parts. So this creates a full-on um, postage-style stamp yep. um, effect, uh, but in the form of a die. Then you've got another outer layer so that you can cut um, out the total frame. Um, or what we've done is we've actually kept it where it stays connected into the cardstock as well so you've got options in how you can do this and then layer them up with those three pieces now this one is the one that i'm interested in because i've got myself a little bit of a box lid going off here uh, now i've taken a piece of multi-purpose cardstock and craft card i've already pre-done this one while the break was on uh, which it measures in an eight by eight so both started life at eight by eight when you're using your, um, to make a box, all I would say is, is that decide on the size, and I've gone with a two inch base for this, so as in a depth. I want to fill it up with something really quite nice. Um, so I've gone in with a two inch depth, and I've, so it's eight by eight, two inch all the way around on the box lid side, two inch all the way around on the base side. And I've just already popped my score lines in and done the little bit of what I call a little bit of um, snipping out to make it a nice easy fold when you're folding it in. Uh, now, I'm going to bring in this one because I want to cut into the box lid. And this is a nice size die as well, um, mm. Becky. This is five and a half by five and a half. Excuse me, I've just So very that easy off. to make a very quick card with that. Quick card, yeah. quick gift box. Yeah, absolutely. Loads and loads of different ways you can use this. Um, I've used it in so many myself and uh, I do love a good box. I'm not going to lie. One of my favourite things that I love to do is a, a, a really nice box. Uh, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut into my box lid. So, pop that on, thin metal die, and run that through. So when we run that through, oops, make sure you don't drop anything out there, Debbie. Make sure your plates as well, nice and flush. We wouldn't normally do this at home. I'd have it at the side of me, yeah. sat here, and just push through, um, is how I do mine at home. This way we've got it on a tilt, facing forward, having to shove it in. I always try and bring it closer, still keep it in view, but try and, try and bring it closer to make it easier for all right? I've got mine on a Lazy Susan, oh, but it's a yeah? little bit too... Why is it called a Lazy Susan? I've got no idea. Um, I, we've got, I've got loads of Lazy Susans at home. I've got loads of lazy husbands and children as well, but you know, um, <laughs> it's um, because we're, we're obviously we're a Chinese family, so you know you, you tend to eat all together. Yeah. And lazy Susans are the things you have, aren't you? Because that's how you put all your food out. So we've got we've got about six or seven of them at home. But I I, um, I find my um being able to move your Gemini around is really quite useful, or use having one of those rotating. Boards. I wonder if the lady who invented it was called Susan and she was too lazy to turn yeah. it herself. Do you I think that could be right? I, do you think, I wonder if that is, do you if know, you, know, if anyone does, does, let us know. I mean, did you hear Ben say. chuckle then in my ear because <laughs> he thought that were funny? But do you know what? It could well be that Susan do you know was... I reckon she was called Susan and it was her mother-in-law and said, I bought you one of these because you're lazy, Susan. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh come right. on, Ben's right. found out. Come on. Wow. Thomas Jefferson invented the Lazy Susan in, in 1870, did you say, yeah? <laughs> oh, oh wow. So it was his daughter that was, um, he invented it for his daughter, who was always complaining she was the last person served at the table and she always left the, the meal feeling hungry. So that way oh. everyone can hurt, serve themselves. Oh. Ah, right. Well, I she called never. Susan. She was called <laughs> 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 she was called Susan then so apparently oh my goodness it's, today's been a real education yeah. for me um, in terms of I've learnt now about the origi uh, original from the for the lazy Susan part yeah. um, what else did we learn earlier Becky we learnt something else our favourite songs yeah favorite what, our favourite 
Favourite music? A druzy. A druzy jewel. Yep. 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 We've learnt all sorts. Yeah. It's been rather educational, are they still? There's still the rest of the day to go away, Becky. Now, you all will do is take all those pieces of Can you see this bit? This is the bit that fascinates me. It stays connected into the cardstock. Now, on the, this piece, you will do exactly the same way. You're going to take your scissors, put your score lines back in, because obviously the Gemini does flatten out those score lines. But just carry that around until you have got this piece mm -hmm. like so so it literally is all poked out now and all my piece is done yes. however i want to add a little bit more depth and dimension and because yeah. i've got this postage part and i call it the postage part because i can't think of a better word to call it but no, it's but it that does, that's exactly feel. what it looks like isn't it yeah exactly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in a piece of craft card because i'm going to have a base and i'm going to have a lid i'll just show you how you can do it and again you could take a couple of pieces um, and uh, there's so many beautiful papers in that pad it's so hard to choose from but i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to die cut through both of those at once it can, if it doesn't cut through both it's fine i can go back and and redo that but um I'll do it in separately is what I'm saying, Becky. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm just going to try and speed that process up a little bit to show you what I mean. So I'm going to pop that over, run that through the Gemini, and then literally pop that through like so. Um, and again, it's uh, this the whole of this collection is just because of Charlotte, have we got any pictures coming through yet? That's what I want to know. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. She's just getting them all sorted. Because I asked get away Ben you're not doing anything in there I can I can hear him having a little chit chat with our lovely uh, Jake in there uh, I've been not talking about movies and uh, Stallone movies in there like they were earlier uh, <laughs> he's not he's talking shop he's talking shop I can hear him just can you I can hear him. Yeah. Uh, I've been chinning him out, unfortunately. <laughs> can you <really> say that? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, look at that, Becky. It did cut through both pieces at Perfect. once. And I am going to stick those two. I could have stuck it down and done it together, but that's going to act as the base of my box. Um, to do the top part and the lid, and I'll just explain, cut it again in your two, in your two part. Yeah. But what you're going to do is you're going to bring in this piece and you're going to place that over the top and run that through your die cutting machine so that it brings out this. Okay. So that's using that one to create the lid at the top because I'm going to have a see-through element with my box lid over the top of it. I just thought it gives it a little bit um, of extra dimension. So if I but just show you for put, a second... You wouldn't have put those both dies together through the machine. You've done it in two separate ones, so just so you can line everything up nicely. Yeah, yeah. Right. and that's going to sit over the top. So I'll show you how this is going to come together in a second, but I just wanted to show you all my pieces in how I've used that to create the base and the top got this part I've actually run it through some peach colored because I wanted to just snip out Ooh. the little butterfly because I wanted to give it extra wings but also lift it a little bit yeah I'm going to come in with my sandstone because I just want to add a little bit of um again I just want to vintage it up a little bit so I'm going to bring my sandstorm in <laughs> Have you heard Ben? No more photos, please. No more photos. You can't keep up with the amount coming in. Thank you so much for sharing. I, I cannot wait to see all your beautiful makes. Oh, I've got wrong ink pad thing there. Just bear with me. That's Marlene better. said, uh, Debbie, would like to see you make the pop-out butterfly card. A pop-out pop -out butterfly card. Do you know why I did the craft along with this? Oh. Can I just tell you? And I did do a pop-out uh, card style. Yeah. I wish I'd fetched it with me because I've kept it because it's... I just absolutely adore it. Uh, but if you search in um, Crafters TV, there is a beautiful pop-out card with a butterfly into the centre. Um, is that what she's meaning for today? I think, I'm not sure. I mean, that's quite... Or oh, could this be a future um, Facebook Live for Maybe. me at home? Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, is if, that you, if anyone's that... got any ideas for your Facebook Live, that would be useful, wouldn't it? You what know? was that? Sorry, Becky. Maybe if people have got some ideas for things they want for your Facebook absolutely Live. Absolutely, share your ideas. Yeah. Out there. Keep me, keep me, uh, keep me going keep me uh keeping me going with my terms of me um mm. my craft along yeah craft alongs at home i'm calling them now look at me uh right let's start putting this together because i'm going to put my base together first so again i'm just going to reinforce all my score lines so let's pop that in so a pop out butterfly card well i did do one in the craft along with mm -hmm. this because not only did they give me the launch they gave me the craft along i mean not that i twisted anybody's arms becky <laughs> um but i did i did um i shan't tell you what i uh 
said to the guys in the office about this this lodge but i did say that if i didn't get any of the shows they were going to be yeah uh, i was going to throw a debbie diva strop <laughs> that's what i was going to do not that i strop at all i don't know if anybody knows me but i don't throw strops um might have a moan now and again but i don't do i don't do a, a diva strop what was that ben <laughs> thank you just checking just checking so I thought yeah, I, you I said I never meant then. to stop. I, I, that's, that's what I, I thought you said. I'm thinking, my goodness, he's on me today, isn't he? Ooh, what's he like? Feisty, that's what he is. Feisty, yeah. He's not usually this feisty when he's on the other side, facing <laughs> me face to face. No mind about being in me here. <laughs> so that's my base of my box. The lid's going to fit on the top, but before I actually do, I'm going to start to put my panels on. So I've taken the same paper pad from 12 by 12, and I've cut all my panels down, she says, and I've put them somewhere so safe, Becky, I can't find them. <laughs> I love those peachy colours. Um, the peachy, oh, yeah, it's just, it's nice it's just gorgeous. Honestly, it's beautiful, this. Um, so I found them, Becky, look, I found Good. them. So let's pop on all of our pieces. And again, I could age this up by taking one of the inks and perhaps using the sandstorm. That probably would be a nice one. Mm -hmm. uh, with it being a peach, choose a tone that works with it to, to give it a nice vintage. But I'm going to keep this one nice and clean. You've already seen me do that with the first two demos. Uh, so I'm just going to pop all of these around the outside of my box. Creative Touches 2019 says, Hello everyone from Shady Dale, Georgia. I just wanted to, to wanted you to know that I love Crafters Companion. Oh, Isn't thank that nice? you. That is lovely. That is thank a really you. sweet thing to say. Thank you. How sweet is that? Yeah. That's lovely, that. Thank you. It means a lot. It really does. Um, I've got a little piece, Becky, that I've cut out just to pop on the inside of my box as Ooh, well. that's a nice idea. So, yeah, just a nice little idea. Again, finish it. I think it's about the finishing. Yeah. Bits. Well, you'll be able to see through the top, won't you? Of yes. That box. So that's a exactly. Really good idea. So I want it rather than having a stark brown bottom. I want it to have something with a bit of a <laughs> with a bit of a feature. <laughs> Oh, I sometimes think about my wedding. Uh, I'm going to pop on the back of there. Now, I've cut a piece of heavyweight cardstock around the back because I'm going to stick that on. However, I don't want the wings to stick down. So, I'm going to use dotty tape pen. Now, I do know, a bit controversial, but I do know we don't have any of this in stock at the moment. As soon as it comes back in stock, we will let you know. Um, but I'm going to use it just for this because there's so much um, detail around that trellis but I don't want to stick my wings down because I want to lift those up now I've cut it down to just shy a 4x4 four four this so that it will fit inside my box lid bless her have you heard Charlotte they're inundated <laughs> Inundated <laughs> that because it was it was one of the most popular collections that we've done. I would say up until recently, because obviously you all saw how fast the uh, certain things went on the winters. <laughs> yeah, winters, not tail. Winter sparkle, winter sparkle, sparkle. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of a full collection, how much this went the first time round. Uh, honestly blew us away we knew it was going to be popular but we did, i don't think any of us expected it to be that popular uh, right so that's the piece that i'm going to pop on however i am going to put the frame on but i'm going to do it after i've constructed it so i can get it all angled up okay because bringing in this piece and i'm just going to bring in and stick those two pieces together the ones that i cut earlier let's go in with a little bit of glue again and the only reason that I've done it with the cardstock over the top is because I want to have a strong bottom part of the box. I want it to be strong and sturdy and rigid. You, you always need, you make sure your box is nice and strong. At the yes, base, you do. You? Yeah, absolutely. So, and that's the bit that's going to sit onto the top. So it's got that like postage part to it. Yeah. Um, I will use, now you normally use a red liner tape just onto the bottom. Let me um, see if I can find mine. Perfect. I've got it down here. Let's just pull this out. I like um, the idea of going to you know, someone inviting you over for a, a meal and you give them a beautifully decorated handmade box filled yeah. with something lovely. But when I was looking at this, I was thinking, I was remembering when I was about um, 13, I bought my, um, my friend at the time, who's now my, my sister-in-law, um, I bought her something that I knew she really, really wanted and it was a hamster. It was a what? Hamster. A hamster? Yeah, ham hamster in a box. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you never did. I did. She was delighted. Her mum and dad, who are now my I bet they were delighted. my in laws, still haven't forgiven me. Um, they still say, you oh, know, you bought that hamster. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hamster in a box. I can't believe you bought your friend an hamster. I know. Oh well, I knew my she wanted goodness. one. You know, so. Um, you know, you oh, yeah, and I bet mum and dad weren't planning on getting a one. No. 
Uh, I think they would have much preferred a box like this filled with you know, some nice handmade chocolates, maybe, as a little gift. Yeah. When you turn up at someone's <laughs> house. <laughs> don't put a hamster in this box. No, Just don't saying. put a hamster in this yep. box. Please don't do that. Put a, put a nice bit of chocolate into there. Now, I'm just going to pop down. I'm um, just going to pop that down and seal that down so yep. that you can see at the bottom. Now, you could actually, what I could have done to make it all match is turn the darker part of the craft card down, but it doesn't matter because it's the base part. Yep. But if you wanted it to tie in really nicely, then uh, think about doing that. Now, I've got my side panels on. Um, I just need to put my little butterfly on the centre. Again, I'm just going to use a little bit of... Uh, dot, dot, oh, she said dotty tape and use it solid one. Um, oh, now I've knocked his head off. Oh, what am I like? Oh, do you know, I'm going to I'm gonna have to snip him off now. He looks a bit raggedy. That's my own fault for using the... Um, please know that when I made this, there was no harming of any butterflies. <laughs> uh, but just for that purpose, because it looked a bit raggedy and I didn't want a raggedy head. Uh, so I'm just going to lift off those pieces. So I've got a little bit of flight again. Let's put the box lid together. So again, I'm going to use my um, tape pen around all four sides. There we go. And then again, I'm just going to go in and pop these. I in. love a box. I love a box. So easy to make as well. So, so easy. Great for cake. Do you know, has he yeah. said that on a purpose? Yeah, Great for so. cake. Did so, you hear him? So, um, if you watched the earlier show, you know, I suggested that Ben go and buy his cake, and he didn't. Um, he said he was too busy. Too busy and too important. <laughs> so. Now, at the minute, Becky, uh, nice looking box, but looks a bit odd. Let's, let's not make the bones about it. Looks a bit odd because I've got a postage stamp at the bottom. So this is when this piece comes into effect mm -hmm. and it's going to stick over the top oh. so it now matches. So I'm just going to pop. Now, I would normally pop the tape around there, but I'm just going to pop it on the inside yeah. of my box lid. And I'm not going to worry too much. Literally just pop that around the edge in. And then I'm going to line it up. I'm going to do it by eye, Becky. So I'm going to bring it in and go around that edging, quite happy with that, pop that down onto the top and the last thing that I'm going to just pop on there is a tiny little bit of ribbon. That's gorgeous. Like so. And again, adding a few gems and I probably will put a gem on this because I've lost his head. Uh, but there you go, a beautifully decorated box using that postage stamp. Absolutely beautiful. And then on the inside, you've got that lovely see-through element. Let me just pick that out because it's still a bit wet. Uh, but there you go. You've got yourself a gorgeous little gift box uh, ready to gift to somebody uh, that you love. I could add a sentiment on there if I wanted to, but on this occasion, I'm going to leave it blank because uh, I just think it's a really pretty little gift box that I think is stunning when you use these. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Fit quite a lot of cake in that. So this is your vintage butterfly um, selections. So this is the, the complete, well, the, the, the bigger collection. We've got it in individual bundles um, on the website. You have a look at those. But you're going to be getting, first of all, you'll be getting your um, collection of um, vellums in here. So the vellums basically mimic the same patterns you'll find in the 12 by 12 paper pads. So you've got a whole load of different vellums in here. Um, you'll be getting your pearlescent card stock. So in the greens, purples, creams, and pinks. Then you'll be getting your 12 by 12 paper pad. Um, so these are all double um, sided paper pads um, you'll see that you've got sort of more of a, a vivid um, full pattern on one side and more of muted tones on the rear of those pe pages you'll be getting your um, embossing folder which we've got here you'll get uh, all sorts of different embellishments so this little um, selection of uh, lace sort of um, cotton lace with those butterflies on it you've got these butterfly charms you get 10 of those you get these brads that have got tiny tiny little butterflies right inside um, 40 of those in there they're absolutely beautiful I, could, I would want those as earrings I have to be honest um, then you've got um, a selection of ribbons in there and all those different sort of colours oops that you'll be using in the collection then you've got your dies so you, this is your opulence edge die one way this way I don't know my left and my right. That's never useful. Then you've got this one here, which you saw earlier on, um, with really intricate dies there. You've got your stamp um, and die selection. This is your monarch butterfly. Then you've got your tags and tickets, which are the ones that we showed you earlier. Those little tickets are really quite cool, something I've not seen before. You've got your perfect papillon, which is your large butterfly. Very, very beautiful. Then you have um, this one here, which is like the postage stamp type butterfly that we were talking about. We've just been using on that demonstration there. Then you've got your kaleidoscope die with all of those different butterflies there. 
Finally, you've got your beautiful butterfly stamps and you've also got your sentiments in there as well. So the price is £95, $120. Platinum price is £76 or $96. Do remember, if you're going to be popping this in your basket, pop in that um, code SEPT5, S-E-P-T-5, and that will give you £5 off that as well. So we're going to have a look at some photographs of what you've been sending in. We've had loads. Oh, so this is um, Hilda Hughes Gilding Wax on that. That looks really effective, doesn't that, it? It does look effective, yeah. I like yeah. that. Very, very nice. The next one we've got is um, oh. Robbie with the gilding wax on that butterfly. Again, um, beautiful. Yep, gorgeous. There's so many things you could do with this collection. You get all sorts of different designs coming out of there. Then when the next one we've got is um, from Maggie. Now, I um, like that because that's, yeah, that's a mix of... Um, another paper pad, isn't it, with something else. That's beautiful. That's that kaleidoscope, which I'm actually going to be using next, actually. That's yeah. really pretty. Next one from Maggie. Oh, um, Maggie, one of my favourite cards. Is, oh. what, what's, what's that called again? Oh, so, it's that, so I call it a triple point, triple but this is called diamond point. There's all sorts of different yep. names for it, but I call it a triple point card. That is beautiful, That's Maggie. beautiful. Almost a little peacock kind of colours that you've used there. And this one from Val with oh, all those sort of peachy colours. That's lovely um, as well. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. That's lovely. That's a butterfly book that she's making oh, there. Oh, beautiful. That's great. Val. I love that idea. Absolutely gorgeous. Maureen, um, look. <laughs> loads of those ones. Oh my All goodness, sorts of Maureen, you've been busy. Yeah, really nice. Like that a lot. Um, Stephen. Oh, Stephen, yeah. with the. Um, oh, do you know that's with the corner pieces? Yeah. Oh, Stephen, that's lovely. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, uh, they're not next to the ones from Stephen as well. Beautiful, flat, beautiful butterflies. I mean, they 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 really are yeah. beautiful, and they're so inspiring for us to see them, actually, aren't they? Yes. Uh, the next one we've got is from Deb. Oh, was that, was that I you, Deb? Love that. No, <laughs> Deb Freeze. I recognise that name. That is beautiful. Let me come in closer. Let me have a little closer. Oh, oh I see. That it's looks like some like gilding enamelling. flakes have been used there. That's gorgeous. It looks like a piece of jewellery, doesn't it? Doesn't it? With yeah, a, enamelling in it. Really, really. Me, nice. you were right when you said there were a lot coming through. Yeah, that's great. Is that it? I'll go thank back. You, I'll go back. Thank you very much. For, um, and we'll have a look at a few more in a moment as well. Um, so we've got another demo because we've got another four demos, three demos to get through. So oh my it's days! Speedy I think, uh, this don't, afternoon. Don't, 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 well, yeah, <laughs> another three. I think I might have been a little bit optimistic there. Um, <laughs> One, two, oh, yeah, mm. well, do you know what? I could save them for another time, is what yes, I could exactly. do. Yes, um, exactly. Uh, yeah, I could. Or I could save them for someone else. That, that's the thing. Could, I could save them for someone else. I could be really generous. Um, I'm going to use box fresh by the looks of this. Oh. Because um, mine are at home. See, I sometimes fetch me home with me, and then sometimes I don't. So I'm going to use a, a box fresh set from our lovely Jake. And this is the Kaleidoscope one. Now, this is the one of the collection that is actually a double-sided die. So with terms of making crafting really easy, our painted tech technology, which is you won't find one of these dies anywhere else in the world. If you do, please let us know because it's our patent. And they absolutely love it because it's got two die cuts, one of a matte variety and one of a really lovely, delicate detail that you layer up together that looks really quite beautiful. I'm going to keep it really quite... Um, muted in terms of colour because I've chosen some of the textured cardstock and um, a, a pearlescent one mm -hmm. and I'm going to have the textured as the base so that's the bit that's going to sit down onto there yeah I'm then going to sandwich this now because it's both sides it's okay however I do need double-sided plates which are our super tough plates uh, that you'll find now, I think they're still on the website. I want to say they're still on the website. I'll ask our lovely Ben to have a little look for me. But I think they are. And I'm just going to hold it down a little bit just here with the what I call the waist bit that you won't see that I cut. Just to hold it down so it doesn't move. or um, And then sandwich the cardstock in between the die. Fantastic. Thank you very much. I'm glad we still got them because um, it is well worth it with the double-sided die technology. And the only reason being is because we're asking a metal die to cut through two pieces of cardstock in one position, mm -hmm. one place, because it's one die. Uh, so the next thing they're going to do is take the two outside cutting plates. And that's the only combination you need with our uh, die cutting, uh, double-sided die cutting technology. Okay. So you sandwich those two green plates in between the two plastic shims. It's that easy when it comes to double-sided technology. Maybe an exception to the rule where you might need to add your metal shim yeah. over the top 
of the plates. Um, not in between, I wouldn't do it in between, but right. uh, I would just definitely put that in. And it's just that extra little bit of a cut. Yep. If it hasn't cut the first time, don't worry, you can put it through again. Keep telling people this. It, when it, we talk about it being a one pass wonder, but sometimes the nature of a dye does mean that you need to cut it through twice. Yep. So there's nothing wrong with going in twice if you need to do that. Um, and I think that's done die cut that perfectly. Let's have a little lift up. Let's have a little peek. Uh, yeah, absolutely fine. And this is cut out. Now, I did say I'm keeping it muted on this particular one. Um, and I am. So, let me just push all my plates. So, let me, in fact, I'll move them and not push them to one side. Let's keep it nice and tight, Debbie. Um, and again, I'm just going to poke out the little elements. So, it's cut my mat out. And it's also cut my decorative piece out as well. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is get rid of the waste. Pop the die back over there. Um, I could do a dye cleaning brush. I've got one in here. Yeah. Maybe. Are you Let's a tidy crafter? Am I a tidy crafter? Yeah. I am now. Didn't used to be. Oh no. I, oh my kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, so I know that if John was here, I mean Jake would never say anything like that. He's such a gentleman, and say if John was here, he'd be saying Debbie's the dirtiest messiest crafter <laughs> we have in the building, uh, and that's true because I've heard him. Boo. Yes. Ooh, because, I think he says uh, that about all of us. Well, have you ever followed Sarah? <laughs> oh, my days. I mean, she's a, exactly Ben. She's a mucky pup. She <laughs> is literally, she leaves Bedlam wherever she goes. She's entitled, <laughs> so she's the boss. Um, but, yeah, she's a um, dirty crafter. Does that sound right? <laughs> Uh, no, messy. messy. Messy, I think, is the word we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, we're messy. She's a messy crafter. Um, a bit like myself. Girls of a kindred spirit. You've got to get messy. Yeah, that's what Jan yeah. used to say to me. Well, she says you're not crafting if you're not messy. So, and she's true. Um, but now I'm at home in my craft room, I tend to craft. If I make a mess, I clear it up straight away. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, um, I used to literally uh, make a mess, make a mess, leave it, make a mess, leave it, make a mess, leave it. Got into such a state that the mess became an even bigger mess, yeah. And then I didn't want to clean the mess because it depressed me too much. Mm -hmm. um, so now I am very good in terms of I clean as I go along, yeah. Now I would say to you that obviously having muted colours means that when you sit it on the top, it doesn't pop quite. I mean, it's nice, but it yeah. doesn't pop quite as um, as well as it could do. So I'm going to add a little bit of um, definition to my matte piece, and I'm just going to use a couple of our inks. I'm going to use a pale, uh, pale, pale. Pale, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say pale pig, pale fig, pale fig, <laughs> pale, pig. <laughs> pale fig, and crushed velvet. And I'm going to bring in those two colours and I'm going to just splodge them on, Becky. Just give it a splodge, just going in. I'm not worried too much because don't forget this is going over the top. Okay. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be precise. It doesn't have to be clean, uh, but it's just giving it a little bit of colour and a little bit of definition. Um, I could have done it with another colour colour cardstock, but it doesn't matter. Mm, hey -o. Oh, do you know what else would look nice? Oh, Debbie, I, I, I have done it with me uh, decorative piece. Um, gilding flakes again. I think we, you're of the opinion like I am. The world is a better place if it's covered in gilding flakes. Oh, um, yeah. I bought some gilding flakes. They're, they're due to arrive sort of Monday, Tuesday. Have you? Have yeah. You? And I went for like the um, purpley pink colours. Oh, yeah, and I, definitely. I can't wait to use those. They're something that I definitely need, will need to clear up in my craft room. <laughs> now, I did say that uh, with my top piece, this decorative piece, uh, I have done the same. I've just added just a little tiny bit into the centre part of the okay. panel. And again, Again, I've just taken me crushed velvet uh, and gone around mixing the pale fig. Thank you. Pale <laughs> fig just around the outside of the butterfly as well. So I'm going to go in and add a little bit of colour. And it's just adding again a little bit of interest, a little point of um, interest to the to the panel, which again could be used on its own if you wanted to, because mm. uh, it's absolutely beautiful. But I'm quite happy with that. So. I'm going to bring in my bottom part and we're going to stick that over the top and it then pops. It all yeah. it comes alive when you add a little bit of dimension. So I'm just going to bring in my dirty tape pen. So a few people messaging around. in. Um, Shadaya said, um, while dressing to go out, I'm enjoying all the giggles. Thank you so much. Christine Mahoney says, but is Ben really that lovely when he didn't get the cake? Yeah, well, yeah. Mm. It's a very busy man today, Christine. Yeah, he is. That's what he's telling That's me to say to you in my ear. Yeah. 
Um, is, Robbie oh, says, I'm so honoured to have my card shown. Thank you very much, CT Aww. CTV. And Eve says, good thing I saved this show. I believe that I will be doing a little card hacking from those cards that were sent in. Absolutely stunning, everyone. And obviously, there are Facebook, um, we've got Facebook groups. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you can all share your makes on there. So they're a great place to have a look for inspiration. I was looking there the other day when I was trying to do, make a pickle card. Um, <laughs> no one had a pickle card, um, but um, I will get a picture of it. I was very proud of it. Um, Michelle Mitz for you says, I agree, if you're not messy, you're not crafting. Yeah. Um, and Connie says, oh, oh, Debbie, the horrors, the gossip, lol, just look kidding. Usually the best crafters are the messiest, um, <laughs> but the greatest of all crafters will clean up after themselves. Yeah. <laughs> It's true, it's true. Uh, again, I'm just going to add uh, a little bit, in fact, we'll go with crushed velvet actually, a little bit darker, and just uh, tickle around those edges again. Distressing rounds by panels, just because again, it's, do you know what you could do? So, um, I mean, I love doing it. Do you know where you put around the edges with gilding flakes? That would look lovely yep. as well. Um, and then again, it would be in keeping with my little panel that I've done there. Um, but I'm just quite happy just to tickle it around with a little bit of the ink. And I'm using the crushed velvet on this one just because I don't want to say <laughs> pale fig again. <laughs> pale fig. Yes, there we go. So let's pop those on. And I've used a bit of Centura Pearl. Of course, there is the lovely um, papers, uh, sorry, card stock in that lovely card pack as well, um, which has got a lovely purple tone in there. Um, but I want the cardstock to last a little bit longer, so I've used a little bit of the lilac in our Centura Pearl. Uh, again, just check out the website for all of those things. Everything that I've used today um, on my cards and projects has been all Crafters Companion products. Um, and they're all ready available, with the exception of the dotted tape pen, because it's not in stock, um, on our website. There we go. So I'm going to pop that on. That's my base. Just going to do a little bit of cleaning up here for a second, Becky. Just give me a... Do you a know those colours that we've got on those paper pads? They, yeah. they remind me of, like, um, sort of vintage signs and metal signs that you find in, like, France or somewhere like that, south of France. Do you know what I mean? They've got that kind of feel yeah. to them. Well, obviously, because they're the vintage, but you're not using... You know, there's not bright whites. They're sort of... Um, they are those kind of sepia tones. They are kind of... Everything looks slightly rusty. Yeah. Um, I think they're so pretty. They're such a romantic collection that we've got here. Oh, it is. Absolutely. It's a gorgeous collection. Mm. Um, beautiful tones of colour and, and things in this collection, in the papers, in the cards. Uh, thank goodness I'm covering that up because I've left ink down on there. Um, but So I'm, I've taken, and again, I've just gone with a very basic card shape in terms of sizes, and I've taken a card blank that measures six inches by six inches. I actually used A3 multi Cardstock. Oh my god, multi-purpose cardstock because I can do that now and I can make it easier with myself. 12, 6, score at 3, score at 6, hey presto, yeah. I've got a fabulous card that I'm not having to do 5 and 3 quarters now. Instead I can do proper sixes, um, which I just think is lovely. And that's with the addition of our latest uh, in the line of our papers and cardstocks, which is the multi-purpose cardstock in A3, which is still, I believe, available on the website. Now, I'm going to add this part is going to float off this half fold. So this is how it's going to create this little card. Okay. I've got myself, again, I've taken um, one of the tags and smile, you've got this, used in the uh, crushed velvet again. I've popped it onto some uh, foam pads. So I'm just going to take my foam pads off for a second. Um, and then I'm going to add one little last element because I can, because you've got all the collection. Uh, in fact, actually, I'm going to add two. So I'm just going to place that into there. But it looks a bit bare. Could have added a bit of ribbon, but do you know what I wanted to do? Add a little gem. And mm -hmm. I said gem. Charm. We're going to add a little charm oh, onto nice. there. I love the charms. Now, I do need a bit of chunky glue because I haven't got my hot glue gun plugged in. So let's see if I can find some in here. I think I might be able to get away with this. Yeah. I've got one. <laughs> little bit of me chunky glue. Oop, bit of a splodge there. Let's take a little bit off with my pokey tool because I don't need a lot with it being a charm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put a little touch there. Let's wipe my pokey tool up. 
add my little charm on. Of course, I could thread some of the ribbing through the charm as well. Um, now, I'm going to just pop this on, but I'm going to lift it again. So, again, I think I'll use, because I want it to dry pretty quick, I'm going to use my foam pad. Um, so, let's pop on a couple of the foam pads. I'm going to have it like a kaleidoscope going across the page. So, let's give it a little twist. So, I know I need one at the bottom. Oh, is that squeaking? <laughs> I thought you were making some strange noises then, but I'm like, what's going off in that? What's going off in there? <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it'll tell us out, won't you, Charlotte? It weren't his chair at all, was it? It was some strange noises coming out of that uh, room then. <laughs> I'm only jesting with you. Do you know he's got his legs out today, ladies and gentlemen? He's got his legs out in a pair of shorts. Pair yeah. of flip flops. Yeah. I mean, he's come ever cash today, hasn't he? He's got a bandage on his knee because he had a sporting injury yesterday in cricket. Was it yesterday? Yeah, scored a hundred. He wants me to tell you that little bit. Scored a hundred, a ton. We a ton. We were talking about doing a, having a cro um, cricket team um, uh, at work. Can we do a rounders? I don't like cricket. Can we do rounders? And then we can all no, no, no. I don't understand cricket. But I, I do like the jumpers. You like? I like the jumpers. I like the whites. Yeah. And the, and the what? Jumper. Cricket tea. Oh, I love cricket tea. Oh, yeah. Afternoon tea. What do you mean by tea? Tea as in a cup of tea? No, sandwiches, scones. Yeah. I wouldn't oh, know what cakes I didn't are like. That. You learn, again, you learn <laughs> something new every day. Oh, yeah. I mean, cricket, I'm not going to lie, Ben, I love you, uh, but bores the pants off me. Um, really sorry, but um, even if you'd have scored a ton in front of me, <laughs> I couldn't have mustered up anything because I just don't, I don't get crickets. Um, it is not for me. <laughs> I think that's why they do such good teas. Oh, uh, uh, for the, sure yeah, I can, say that. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably that's why they do it, Becky. Um, but rounders, Charlotte, come on, let's, let's start it up. We're going to oh, have a rounders tea. I like rounders. I love rounders. A bit of netball. Done netball for years. No, I haven't played. I haven't yeah, played I, netball. For judging by how don't. exhausted I was, just running from one side of the studio to the other, I don't think any kind of um, activity is going to be good for me. <laughs> Unless it's activity where I'm going to be sitting on a sofa. <laughs> now I'm using the opulent edge again. You've already seen me die cut this. The only difference that I've done this time, I've done it onto multi-purpose cardstock. I did a touch of the um, crushed velvet, and I'm going to pop it on as a little edger to the card, and I'm just going to attach it underneath. Now I'm going to take this, do this quite um, carefully because I've already stuck elements down that I didn't mean to stick I meant to do this first however look how that just finishes that off and if I just lift that up apart from adding a couple of little gems on uh, you've got yourself let me just see if I can lift that up a little bit and push that out there we go you've got yourself a lovely frame the kaleidoscope of butterflies and the um, tags from the tickets and tags um, and the gem, which I'm just going to sit down and I keep calling it a gem, but it's actually a charm uh, just to tie it all in. So you've got this lovely, very clean, very simple uh, card using um, all the colours actually in the papers and the uh, background mats and layers as well. Fantastic. I love that. It's beautiful. I love the colours as well. So this is part of the vintage butterfly um, selection. So this is the item that you see just in front of me here. So you've got a mixture of different dies. You've got embossing folders. You've got um, stamps. You've got stamp and die sets. You've got papers. You've got card. And you've got embellishments in there as well. Really, really good value price. So you're saving actually over 50% on this. It's £95 or $120. Your platinum price is £76 or $96. So if you do want this, do pop it in your basket. Do remember to use that code. If you're spending more than £40 today, use the code SEPT5 or SEPT5, and that'll give you £5 off. And that's only valid until midnight tonight. So check out your baskets, and we'll see you in a couple of moments. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges, and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. 
Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. The community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now, bye. Hello everybody, welcome back. It's all been about vintage butterflies today and everyone's been really excited about this collection with 52% off that main collection. So really, really good to do that bundle. If you don't want the whole bundle, you can get smaller bundles. Um, just have a look on the website, but this offers you the best um, best discount, best deal. Um, but Debbie's been hard at work making loads and loads of different demos. So we're gonna show you um, all the different demos so you can vote for demo of the show. So over to you, Debbie. Right, so I'm gonna show you the four and I'm gonna put the one in that we're gonna do at the end because we're just we're going to try and squeeze this one in because it's quite a quick one and it's just a nice little home decor piece uh, so number one where's where we first started with our gorgeous per, uh, per, perfect per, 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 number one <laughs> i'm just gonna go with number one number one with uh, the number two with our embossing <laughs> folder and our lovely apple edge so that's number two number three was our box our lovely postage box number three number four was the um lovely um kaleidoscope of butterflies yep. and then number five we're just going to finish on the little home deco piece so i'm going to put it in because we are going to complete this um so this is a little home deco piece so it's five it's four it's three yep two or one and i'll tell you something i'm glad i'm not choosing <laughs> no. i'm glad i'm not having to choose because i love them all i'm a little bit biased I'm a little bit biased because I love the collection. I love playing with it. Every time I've made any single make that I've done, when I've done this, mm. I, and I've literally got a pile at home. I just won't part with them. I keep really? saying I'm sick. I can't. I love them because I just adore every single make. The collection is fabulous. Whether you're going for the small, the big, the whole, every part of this collection. You've seen some of the amazing makes that our lovely uh, viewers have shared with us as well. So I'm glad I'm not choosing. I'll leave that one to you. So I'll recap. One. Two. Three, four, or five, which is where we're going to finish. There you go. Fantastic. Very difficult, like you say, very difficult to choose. So this is the vintage butterfly um, collection. So this is the one that's just in front of me. So you've got a mixture of different dyes. You've got stamps, you've got embossing folder, you've got um, paper, um, so you've got vellum, you've got embellishments, and you've also got cardstock there. So you've got all the bits and pieces you could possibly need to make um, those beautiful makes. And you saw from those earlier photographs, there really were some spectacular makes from some of our videos, uh, from our viewers. So the price for this is 95 pounds, $120, or your platform 
platinum price is £76 or $96. And we're going to go back to Debbie. Debbie's going to do the demo of that fifth item that we put into the um, demo of the show, um, which is a piece of home decor. But do put your vote in so we can find out who, which is the winning demo of the day. Or demo of the day, demo of the show. And it's so, I'm honest, I've gone back to the beginning with the perfect poppy on. I saved me the other one for another time. Um, but I'm going to just show you how easy it is to put that beautiful layered butterfly together. And with the use of nesting dies, how you can create a lovely little uh, panel one as well. And I'll, I'll give you all the um, makes that I've used. So I'm going to use a bit of craft card again. Love the craft card. Very easy, readable, uh, readable. Very easy, accessible to use and looks perfect with these colours. These are the two beautiful colours that come in that card stock. That gold just pearlescent finish i'm keeping it again fairly muted in terms of color in fact you know what i'm going to switch it up a little bit i'm going to have a green background mm. i'm going to have a craft card decorative element and then i'm going to have a cream top yeah let's keep it a little bit muted um, and i do love i know you all know me as a bit of a colorful girl um, i do love color uh, but sometimes it's nice to play it down a little bit and using the theme of the vintage I think this one is perfect and this is going to just be a lovely one that will work alongside um, the pieces that I've made to create the home decor piece almost like a little what should we call it a little plaque Mm -hmm. Could be on the front of your door and those kind of things. Yeah. Not your outside door. I mean, your craft, door, craft room door, not your outside door. Uh, let's push those in. Do you know what there. I have on the front, on, on my craft room door? What have you got? Post it note saying, be quiet and busy. <laughs> <laughs> I bought myself an MDF project. Yeah. Um, it's called I. Now, I think it's the matter. I craft so much, I sweat glitter. <laughs> and I love it, but I've never decorated it. Oh. So it's something that I want to decorate and then stick on the outside of my door. Yeah. So that people know it's my workroom and, and things like that. But yeah, I found it at a craft show about, I'm going to say about three or four years ago, but I've never, never oh, that's a great done idea. anything with it yet. Because I was thinking, that, do you know now though, we've got the gilding flakes. <laughs> Oh. I knew you were going to say that, Debbie. Just knew yeah, that. I'm just thinking then, Becky. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, that is definitely going to be my next project. Um, but yeah, I need to get it up because I, I do I do craft that much. I sweat glitter. I sweat it. It comes out of every orifice, every little uh, crevice, crevice, everywhere. <laughs> ben, did you hear him chuckling then? <laughs> but it's true, Ben. It's true. Well, glitter gets everywhere. It and, does. And when yeah. the dogs were with me, when they were alive, bless them, they used to get covered and caked in glitter red liner tape nothing was sacred when uh, when they used to come in but they used to like to come and sit with me in my craft room so um i do miss those days let me tell you but uh, yeah absolutely um I love, love crafting and you've got to have a bit of glitter. There's mm -hmm. no two ways around it. Uh, right, you see the three pieces work lovely on their own, but we're going to build that up again. I'm not going to do any shaping because we're fast running out of time, but you can. Of course you can shape it. Uh, let's use a uh, solid tape pen. Let's go over the solid one. And we're going to line and layer that up. Of course, I could vintage this craft card up because I could add a little bit of ink around the edges. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it nice and clean. In fact, I might hang this up on me. Uh, yeah, I think I might hang this up on my craft room door. Mm, yeah. yeah, I think I will. Uh, why why not? not? Why not? And there we go. Plus, I love my butterflies. So again, so easy to achieve that look and gives you all that beautiful depth and dimension. Mm -hmm. Now I have used for my own decor, I have used our, um, now then, I need to remember the proper name for it. So let me see if I can remember because um, it's the stitched edge. And I think they're called Fancy Square. Yes, it's the Fancy Square. Okay. So I've used it in craft card. I've cut myself two pieces and I went down the next notch or the next nesting um, to literally pop those on the inner panels. So that's going to sit on the inner panels. So I'm going to use a little bit of uh, wet glue to get it into place. Again, I could vintage it up by adding a little bit of ink, but I'm going to keep it nice and clean. As I've kept my butterfly clean, I'm going to keep this part clean. Now, you will find the fancy square nesting dies on the website, or if there isn't, there's plenty of nesting dies to choose from. This can be achieved with any of them. The decorative ones would look lovely as well. Um, I've got some ribbon. So I've got some nice satin ribbon and this is going to sit and hold my pieces together but I've actually put a little tail end on this side because uh, I'm going to hold them 
and attach it to the top and then it's going to go at the like about there mm -hmm. about there yeah so i'm going to pop on now i would normally fasten this down with red liner tape uh, but because of the speed in which the show has gone i'm just going to pop on just to show you what i mean um some tape uh, and I would recommend this, with it being a door hanger or a little plaque that you're going to pop on, I would recommend that you put it on with either some red liner tape, but I think I'll get away with it, Becky. Um, and then I'm just going to oh, script the right way around, just pop that on and line that up so you can see it coming together. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my butterfly at the bottom. So my butterfly is going to sit, yeah, we're going to have them clear to cornered that way. I'm actually going to lift off all of the wings. So again pop my butterfly into the centre there and then again with me um, me <laughs> <laughs> dear me it's getting to the end of the day I can tell uh, with me nesting dies I'm going to bring in um, these pieces now I did I did have my stamped version tell you what I'll just pop it on to show you what I mean I'm going to lift this up though a bit because I'm going to use some of the gorgeous uh, ribbon that's there Becky so I pop some ribbon on again I wouldn't use a straight edge one but again I would be using a red liner tape but because time is of the essence now we're going to speed this process up I'm going to lift it I'm going to put some foam pads just underneath again so let's add a couple of foam pads and I'm just gonna literally I think I've lost my sentiment but it don't matter I'll show you I'll show you my finished one again so we're going to place that over the top and this is just using the rest of them that go in there now i would stamp something onto there we've got loads of lovely stamp sentiments but again i just want to show you how to quickly uh, pop this together i've taken the same matching ribbon and i've just crisscrossed it over and struck it down with a bit of hot glue mm -hmm. and that's going to sit at the back like so so again just turn it round uh, pop on some tape sit that on the back and then just finish that off with a little bow at the top so it all comes in together like so and the only difference that i've done here becky is i have added onto mine a sentiment so i've popped on here just when the caterpillar thought the world was ending it became a butterfly oh, that's nice. so i've shown like you how that. to construct it obviously i can't find it for some reason i can't find it but again this is what it looks like when it's all done you can have them as long as you want as little as you want but just a lovely little finishing little anger maybe on your craft door yeah. or as a little gift if you're selling to make and things yeah. like that that's what you could be doing with yours that's so, great love that really really nice it was nice. a quick one that one but <laughs> i think you got the gist of it <laughs> Speed crafting. I think I'll, I'll let you know which the, is the demo of the, sh the demo of the show. Do you know? Do you know what which one it would be? What one would you have guessed, Debbie? Oh my days. One, two, three, four. Mm. Yeah. Um, I've got the one, two, three, or four, or five. Yeah. That's it. So I think mm, I think I like one. Uh, I like two. Um, yeah. I love three. I love four. I love five. I don't. I mean, I really don't know, Becky. I've no, no idea. Wait, well, it's number three. The box? Yes. Oh. I think it's because everyone looks at that and thinks, yes, Ben should fill that with cake. <laughs> <laughs> so well done. It is absolutely beautiful. Really, really Thank effective. Thank you. Thank you like very much. Lot. There you go. That is the winner of today's. Fabulous. Thank you. So this is all the vintage butterfly section. So if I show you what you're going to be getting in this, in this main collection. So this, um, you're going to be getting your 12 by 12 paper pads. And you've got those here. So as I said before, um, these are double-sided paper pads. You'll see that you'll have sort of a more intricate pattern or sort of a more vivid pattern on one side. And then the rear of them will be more muted tones. Um, so really sort of large images that you've got on here. So that's your 12 by 12 paper pad. You'll also be getting your vellum pad. So these are the same patterns um, that you've got um, in that paper pad but just in vellum so if I take away that piece of um, white paper you will see um, those are all those different vellum patterns you'll be getting your pearlized uh, pearlescent cardstock so you've got in pinks greens purples and also in cream colors you'll also be getting your um, stamp collection oh is that over there Oh, so you're getting your sentiments in here, all those lovely sort of um, sentiments for you to use. And you'll also be getting those butterfly stamps as well. So you can create your own kaleidoscope of butterflies. But it doesn't stop there because you also get 
ribbons in all of those beautiful colours and greens, sort of blues and um, pinks, you'll be getting these beautiful little brads which have got tiny, tiny butterflies, not real ones, butterfly pictures right in the centre. You won't be able to see them until you get home. I can't even see them until I put my glasses on, but they're really, really tiny and very beautiful. You get 40 of those in this collection. You'll get 10 of these beautiful butterfly charms in the collection too. You'll also be getting this um, cotton ribbon which has got butterflies on it which inks really well so you can change that into different colours. You'll be getting your embossing folder here which has got that beautiful and this is your 3D, emboss <laughs> 3D embossing folder with that beautiful butterfly there. You'll get your stamp and die set here so this is your monarch butterfly um, that you've got here. You've got your kaleidoscope, well, oh, should have them around the right way, kaleidoscope of butterflies, um, which is the one we've used on one of those demos um, earlier on. But you'll also be getting the opulent edge die. You'll be getting this collection of three different um, very intricate dies here. You'll be getting this one, which is your tickets and tags, which you're going to be using in so many different ways. I will be using these um, on Friday Softer Side Show. You have to tune in and watch that to find out what I'm going to be doing there. And then you'll be getting this one, which is the one that won demo of the show. So this is one that Debbie will say is a little bit like a postage stamp. But again, lots and lots of uses for that one. And then finally, you're getting this um, large butterfly in those three different dies. So the price is £95 or $120. Platinum price is £76 or $96. Um, you also have um, your paper collection. I'll just grab that very quickly um, so you can see. So you're going to be getting, this is, what, this one? Oh, sorry, the vintage butterfly. Um, so extra paper is really popular. So a 12 by 12 um, paper pad, so you can see um, all of those. That's really popular if you want to get that separately. But lots of these items are available separately, and we also do have them in other bundles as well. So have a look at the website. Do remember you've got um, a special offer. So if you spend more than £40 today, you can use the code SEPT5 or SEPT5 and get £5 off. And that's valid until 12 o'clock this evening. That's about all from us. And we will see you at 6 p.m., 1 p.m. or 10 a.m., depending on where you are, for Second Chance Sunday. I'm going to go and have some lunch and a cup of tea. And I will see you a little bit later. <laughs>